I have one of the Toyota trucks in here that is a Volkswagen TDI conversion project. There was a product I wanted for that truck from back when I worked in North Dakota uh, as a welder. The welding truck that I, I had was outfitted with a, an auxiliary heating system. It would preheat the engine, it would heat the cab, it actually heated my hydraulic fluid, it heated my welder. So my thought was, because the, the Toyota is basically an, an overland project, and I, I, like, I still like winter camping, uh, and this would apply to anybody that's going to have a, a diesel that's gonna, that, that may sit for extended periods of time, for days at a time, in the cold, uh, in a location where you cannot plug it in, or that it may be cold enough that your glow plugs or your grid heater is simply not going to be adequate. Um, just to make sure that on some of these overlanding trips in the wintertime that uh, we for sure would be able to start the truck. Uh, and it certainly won't hurt in the mornings to be potentially the only guy there with a truck that is already warm and ready to hit the road or trail. I was curious to see if there was a product that would function on a smaller truck or car. So I sent an email to SBAR, that's uh, Ebersbacher, is a German company. Uh, they have offices in Ontario. So I sent them an email with an inquiry. They do in fact have smaller units for pickup trucks and cars. So what they sent me I was going to do a complete unboxing, but it's actually a fairly comprehensive package. So for now, I really just want to show off the heater. This is the entire unit, and this is a micro, kind of a micro boiler. This is integrated into the truck's cooling system. It will preheat the coolant, uh, and there's a water, water pump in here, a circulator pump in here, and it will circulate the coolant through not only the engine, but you can circulate it through the cab so that it will maintain or heat, preheat, the interior. Uh, there are ad additional things you can, you can get for this, and when we do the installation, and we'll cover all of these parts, we'll cover the, the location where we'll mount it and that kind of thing, but there are a number of things you can add to this. Uh, this timer is actually um, fairly comprehensive on its own, so you can set day timers, um, dates, times, length of runtime, that sort of thing. Um, but for now, I really just wanted to introduce the product itself, and, I, and there is a link um, in the description below that goes to the page that talks about the smaller units specifically. That is it for the unit itself. The next step will be to uh, actually go over all the parts and find a location for this on the truck.